Hi guys! Today I'm gonna do a video about Hong Day, which is actually my most requested video. I'm gonna split this up into about three to five videos and make it a series, and this is gonna be the first video in the series, so stay tuned for the other one. So let's get started! Let's start at exit 9 of Hongik University Station and turn left when we come out of the subway and just walk straight down the street. Cross the intersection and watch out for cars and keep walking until you see the MCM store and then veer right on this small diagonal street. Our first stop is going to be Cafe Yam. This is a little cafe that serves up desserts and drinks. Everything here is ultra, ultra sweet, but it's very pretty. Um, here you'll find that unicorn cake and mermaid cake that you've always dreamed of. And you can also get a cookie monster tiramisu latte and wear a headband to match your dessert or drink. If super sweet sugary desserts are not exactly your cup of tea, then you might want to skip this place. But now I'm going to take you to Karen Hongdae Lounge. As you can see, this place is super sophisticated and pretty. It's a great place to snap a quick photo. It's actually a dessert bar, but it's also a sunglasses shop. So if you want to just come in and check out the place, you don't have to buy anything to eat or drink because the food is actually quite pricey. But you get what you pay for. Oh wow, it's amazing. This is really good. Let's head out. Turn right out of Karen Lounge and make another right, and then you're gonna cross this big street. You see Skin Food and then Bershka. There's two streets. We're gonna head down the one that's adjacent to Bershka. And we're gonna hit up the Trick Eye Museum. So we're gonna go down the stairs and we're gonna pass by the Love Museum. And you can stop here if you like. And then we're going to hit up the Trick Eye Museum. Have you ever been to one of these places? They basically are um, paintings that are like optical illusions and it makes for a really fun place to take photos. So I recommend that you come here with a friend so that you can take photos of each other. Let's head out of the Trick Eye Museum and cross over to the other street that's parallel to this one. This is Hongdae Shopping Street and this is a street that is adjacent to the skin food shop that we saw earlier. We're going to veer off to a side street on your left and check out Lize Milk and Cocoa. This looks like a flower shop from the outside but if you look closely it's actually a women's clothing store and they carry a nice selection of cute vintage looking dresses but they're all actually new and everything is very reasonably priced. Now let's head out of the store and turn left and keep walking down this curvy street till we hit Nerdy Cafe. It's a cafe and a clothing shop all in one and it's just a really interesting place. There are these photographs of this family and I was trying to figure out who these people were. I thought, is this a celebrity that I've never heard of? I don't recognize these people. And then I asked the worker and he said that they were just models, which makes this place even more amazing because the concept is just so different and interesting. It feels like you're walking into an American home from like the 60s, 70s, or 80s, I don't know. But it's just a really fun shop. At the downstairs cafe, you'll find desserts that your grandma could have made. Turn right when you come out of Nerdy and then make a left and you'll see Unipop Porn. This is such a cute little pinky, purpley shop. They carry a lot of Japanese merchandise like Sailor Moon dolls and Blyff dolls if you're into that type of thing. They carry some vintage items and they also have a really cute line of jewelry and hair accessories. Next to Unit Popcorn, there's a hair shop that looks like it has a lot of personality. Now let's go back out the way we came and head out to the main shopping street in Hongdae. Here is where you'll find a lot of cheap clothing, accessories, and that type of thing on your right side. And then on your left side, you'll see a lot of the road shops like Nature Public and places that sell Korean beauty and skincare. We're going to turn right at the end of the street and head out to Hongdae D5, Mint Time, and the Gacha Shop. Now let's head up to Hongdae D5. There are two floors. The first floor is blue and gold themed. And I like the second floor because it's super pinky and pretty with white marble and bright pink chairs with gold finishings. 
and this is where you can get the ice cream pasta and this is not as crazy as it sounds it's actually bacon pepper flavored and my daughter really liked it it just tasted like normal cream pasta there's also a space where you can take selfies which has a selfie stick included giant teddy bear and flower pops now let's head out and check out the gadget shop next door this is a relatively new shop um, it's three stories and on the first story they have a ton of gadget pawn. These are little capsule toy vending machines that come from Japan. The prices here are about two to three US dollars for a toy and if you go upstairs there's also an area that sells anime goods and on the third floor there's this space with cardboard cutouts you can take photos next to. Now let's head next door to Minheim. If you are one of those people who likes chocolate and mint, then you'll probably love this cafe. I had the Oreo mint cheesecake and it was really good. Everything here has a chocolate mint flavor. Let's head out of Mintheim. We're gonna turn right and continue back the way we came and make a left at the first little alleyway that you see. And we're gonna walk down this narrow alleyway and stop at this cute little store that sells a bunch of different kinds of character merchandise. I have seen a lot of things here that I haven't seen elsewhere. Um, you can probably find a whole bunch of cute little trinkets. They also sell these little Lego sets where you can put together your favorite characters. It's just a fun place to look around. If you walk straight out of this store, you'll see a giant A-Land store on your right. And if you like Urban Outfitters, you'll probably like A-Land. I feel like this is the Urban Outfitters of Korea with a cosmetic selection comparable to Barney's New York. This is where you'll find the full range of Cosrx products, Dear Claire's, Beauty People, Wamisa, and some other indie Korean skincare and beauty brands. You'll also find home goods and clothing and accessories, and they carry things for both men and women. This location has four floors. Underneath A-Land in the basement, there's a place called Nolsup, which is a nice place to just relax, put your feet up, recharge your devices like your phone, and read some comic books, play video games, watch TV, um, and just relax and hang out with your friends. They serve food here, and you can even sit in a tent if you want to. This space is really nice. Back in my student days, I would have loved hanging out here. Okay, let's head out of Nolsup and go back down the narrow alleyway where we came, and we're gonna make a left at the main street, and if you keep walking, you'll see Art Box. I really like this store. I think it's just a great place to buy cute things in Korea. Um, they sell a lot of goods for your home, and stationery, and hair accessories, gift wrapping items, party goods, just a whole bunch of stuff. It's a nice place to buy cute souvenirs for your friends. Let's turn right when we come out of Artbox and walk down this long street for about, I don't know, five to seven minutes, and you'll see Hongik University, which is the university for which this town is named. Right across is Isaac Toast, which is a chain where you can get an amazing breakfast sandwich. It's all about this yellow tangy sauce that makes the sandwich delicious. Let's head out of Isaac Toast and make a left and cross the street and then make another left on the first small street that you see. Here's Cafe to One Piece if you're into that type of thing. I'm not really, so I'm gonna make a right on the next street and go to Sunny Angel Terrace. This cafe you can buy special Soul Sunny Angels minifigures with a strawberry head. And what I like about this cafe is this pink BW Beetle that they have parked out to the side. I just think it's really cute. Next door you have Vant 36.5, which is a popular cosmetics brand in Korea. On the first floor there's a cafe. On the second floor you can find the skincare products and there's a nice back patio and outdoor terrace where you can relax and take some pretty pictures. Now let's turn left when we come out of Vant and we're gonna walk quite a ways, maybe 10 minutes from where we were and come to Maison de Aloha. It's a little bit of a trek from the main Hongdae station, but if you're an 80s child and you used to collect troll dolls, play with My Little Pony, Barbie, and those types of toys, and if you read Bop when you were a teenager, and if you liked Leonardo DiCaprio, you will probably like this store.
when you come out of Maison de Aloha, make a left, and then make another left, and then make another left. Just kind of curl around the block, and you will come to Neko Coach, which is this cute little pink store that sells things like Sanrio, Sailor Moon, Powder Puff Girls, Al Picasso, a lot of stuff from Japan, including this Monchichi Babichi doll. Um, it's just a fun, nicely curated little shop to look at knickknacks and trinkets. There's another cute little vintage shop down the street called Jenny Rocket. A lot of these shops don't open until 2 p.m. Anyway, let's head down one more street um, and we're gonna hit up a trio of stores that are pretty big. Dr. Althea is the first one and this is a clothing store with a cafe upstairs. The front area is a really nice place to take Instagram photos. Right across the street you'll find the Style Nanda flagship store and I'm sure you guys have heard of this. Um, they carry makeup and clothing and then if you go up to the third floor you can go to the Pink Pool Cafe which is super nice. Um, this is different from the Myeongdong location. They have a different menu but what I would recommend getting is this birthday cake on dry ice. It looks kind of gross but it's actually really good and my daughter liked it a lot. Across the street we have Chu and their most famous product is the minus five kilogram jean which I think are just really tight jeans that make you look like you lost five kilograms. Besides those jeans they sell super girly clothes and accessories and just cute little knickknacks. On the third floor they have a nice space where you can take photos on the rooftop terrace and it has an airport theme. It's super cute. If you make a right when you come out of Chu and make another right, you'll see a whole bunch of cute clothing shops on the street. But we're going to veer right and I'm going to take you guys to another location in Hongdu that I like, which is a, another gacha shop. Um, I think that this is the original Hongdu gacha shop and I'm not sure if the owner just decided to open up another location because there's a lot of similarities between the two shops. But um, I just like this shop because I think that the little displays that he has set up are super creative and cute. So let's come out of the gacha shop and turn right and we're going to keep walking down this street and you'll see this nice little pathway that has a bunch of trees and stuff. We're going to keep walking and we're going to head over to the flower cafe and this is a little bit out of the way of all the other stores that I showed you but I just wanted to include it because I think that it's a really pretty space and what I like about it is they actually serve food here not just desserts and drinks. Um, my daughter and I had a croissant sandwich that was really good and everything is just really pretty and fresh looking. Now this cafe is a little bit out of the way so let's go back the way we came there's this nice little gardened path um, that's near the train station, but we're gonna go back towards the gacha shop and go back to the main neighborhood um, in Hongdae. And I'm gonna take you to another dessert cafe. This place is called Dessert Lab, and they sell a lot of cheesecake desserts. Um, everything here is super pretty, and the space is really nice as well. This is one of those cafes that serves really pretty but very super sweet desserts. So if you're not into that type of thing, I might bypass this place. When you come out of Dessert Lab, turn right and make another right on the next street and you're back at that shopping street that I told you guys about. Let's turn right and then make a left at the next street. And on your left side, you'll see a pink building. We're at the Bunny Cafe and this is my daughter's favorite cafe in Korea. It's a place where you can just pet bunnies and hang out with them. Um, it's not so much a cafe because you don't really eat and drink while you're here, but it has a really cute Alice going down the rabbit hole theme. My daughter just loves this place. When you come out of the bunny cafe, make a left and keep going straight across the traffic circle and you'll come to Morning Glory. And this is a stationery store that carries a lot of paint and wrapping paper and notebooks and just all kinds of cute Korean stationery. This location is pretty big and I think it's a nice place to pick up some souvenirs. When you come out of Morning Glory, make a right and cross the street and then make a left. You'll pass by the subway station and 
we're going to be checking out the Cacao Friends store. Cacao Friends is kind of like Korea's answer to Sanrio. It's definitely a lot more popular than Hello Kitty and Disney in Korea. And it's starting to grow on me actually. I like this character named Ryan, which is a lion that looks like a bear. Walk straight out of the Cacao Friends store and cross the street and then make a left. And if you keep walking for about seven minutes, you'll see the Line Friends store, which is another popular character store in Korea. What they're most popular for right now is their BT21 merchandise, which is a line of characters that the K-pop group BTS developed. There's also a cafe downstairs that's really spacious and serves up super sweet drinks. Let's turn left out of the line store and go back to where we came and you'll see a subway entrance. And let's go down the escalators and we're going to check out Butter. This store sells a lot of random household items that are really cute. A lot of things here are pretty affordable and I think it's a nice place to just get random stuff for your friends, pick up souvenirs and cute things for your home. Now this last place may be a little controversial and it's not for everybody, but if you want to reenact the Britney Spears Baby One More Time video and dress up like a schoolgirl, then there's actually a place where you can do that. This shop rents out Korean schoolgirl uniforms to people who want to dress up like a Korean schoolgirl and walk around home day. Um, it's right next to the train station and it's called Mupuna, which I think means who am I in Korean. I haven't mentioned a ton of places to eat because to be honest, I always eat at the same place. It's this restaurant that sells a $10 sushi set. The cuts of fish are huge. You get 10 pieces of nigiri, also a tempura and a udon and a miso soup. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, one other thing that I just want to mention is that Hongi is not the type of place where you want to visit at 9 a.m. because if you do everything, it's going to be closed. You want to go here around maybe 11 and have lunch and note that a lot of stores don't open up until noon and some stores don't even open until 2 p.m. so the hours here are really late and a lot of times the stores will not open at their stated time they'll open like later because maybe somebody overslept or something like that um, that's just how it is here but uh, Hongi is actually my favorite neighborhood in Seoul. I know that I'm probably a little bit older than most of the people that hang out here. And I do like to bring my kids here. Um, it's not super stroller friendly, but there are a lot of shops here that my girls really enjoy. And they are girly girls. So um, if you are a girly girl like me and my daughters, then you'll probably really love hanging out in Hongi. So in the description box, I left a link to a blog post that I made um, which has all the addresses and there's also a Google map link there so you can see all these locations on the Google Maps Which can be really helpful if you're trying to navigate this neighborhood If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, Bye.